ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Stregi, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's going to take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge, so fuck you. Over. Did you miss me? I guess not. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another exciting episode, uh, uh, well, not episode, review uh, from Delusions of Grandeur. I'm your host, David Stregi, and here I have another review for you, this time of a film that was directed by Dustin Ferguson, um, and it has a um, year of uh, coming out in 2019. Um, and it was, uh, I guess, produced by Lloyd, Lloyd Kaufman's trauma uh, um, department, as well as uh, Joe Williamson. Um, and it, it was, like I said, directed by Dustin Ferguson. Um, and it's called Moon of the Blood Beast. And... Uh, we have a uh, sort of a um, small town vibe here. Um, definitely, um, if you like, um, like the Legend of Boggy Creek, uh, uh, that type of film where we have kind of a small town that has a legend and. Um, this particular uh, uh, one supposedly happens uh, every ten, 10 years under a harvest moon, um, where apparently there is a beast of blood that seems to protect the town. Now, in the very beginning of this film, I love the fact that uh, this um, film starts out very grindhouse, 70s. And um, it's got that 70s vibe throughout the fil uh, uh, film because there are slow motion um, captures on ca a camera of the kills. And uh, there are definitely some interesting POV um, camera um, stuff going on where you're the person viewing how the creature is killing and... Um, it begins with a hitchhiker, uh, that is played by Elena Evans, who apparently before this film was in Horn Dogs Beach Party, um, and after this uh, film she was in Los Angeles Shark Attack, and I guess she's also in, uh, The Beast Beneath, which, uh, uh which just recently came out. Um, and, uh... She goes and takes some photos in, in some nearby um, woods uh, near Riverside. And all we see is that she is 
attacked. And of course, we get some uh, close ups and then some quick shot away, away blood splatters. Um, and we are also introduced to a sheriff that. Um, Uh, I believe his name is Sheriff Frank. <laughs> um, and uh, he is trying to keep this uh, these this killing under wraps. The only thing is the creature is killing um, more than he can keep a handle on uh, things. And uh, there is a, another man who seems to be on the trail of this beast thing, um, which the beast is played by Alan Maxson, um, which he was actually part of the crew on the Godzilla King of the Monsters movie. Um, that uh, recently came out in 2019, which um, I'm glad we uh, we we get someone uh, uh, from some kind of fame underneath the creature mask. In any ca uh, case, so eventually we have three hippies who end up near the site of the hitchhiker killing, and. Uh, of course, this is the moment of dis uh, uh, disbelief where they share and exchange the the legend uh, sto uh, story. And uh, I guess um, one of the things I wanted to say is I didn't expect the film to be so short. But um, you get to see some interesting kills. I mean, I wish that I could have seen the beast a little bit more clearly than I did. But, that being said, it was a very interesting uh, thing to see the, um, the slasher point of view from the point of the killer, um, or the creature uh, that is doing the killing. And uh, I don't get to see that too often. And, or often enough, enough, and I'm glad that uh, I was able to get to see that part. And of course, um, you do get to see various clips from Track of the Moon Beast, uh, where apparently we have a mom that co uh, cooks dinner for her little boy, uh, played by Donnelly Heising. Um, of my science project fame. <laughs> uh, where she's watching different clips from the track of the moon be uh, based which have to do with uh, creatures being lizards of some sort and uh, I kind of laughed at this because I remember watching uh, watching track of the moon, uh, moon be uh, beast on uh, mystery science theater years ago uh, myself uh, being a fan of the uh, the uh, show and uh, it was interesting how many how long the clips were too I mean I I guess I forgot that that uh, film was in the public domain now so um, I'll have to rewatch that uh, that f uh, film because that fil uh, film is kind of a cheesy classic itself but um, I enjoyed the acting in here. Um, there wasn't much to this mo uh, movie. It was uh, uh, it was definitely a ma made for the specific enjoyment of the kills and the way that they were killed in. So I'm glad that uh, the director was able to work with. Uh, some of the names that were in this uh, uh, in in this, and I think that was a it was a great opportunity for Dustin Ferguson to uh, uh, work with some of these characters. 
So, um, I'm glad that I saw, uh, saw this. I guess uh, Ken Mar uh, Murray played, uh, uh, Ken May uh, played one of the, uh, the hippies. He, I guess, was in uh, t uh, t Tales for the Campfire 3, which uh, will be going on about next. Um, but uh, in any case, I uh, I relatively enjoyed this film. Uh, I mean, it was uh, interesting, fun, and uh, I'm glad that I was able to uh, get a copy of this uh, 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 film. So thank you, uh, Mr. Williamson, for uh, uh, treating me to uh, this uh, uh, relatively shor uh, short but enthusiastic uh, um, slasher film. <laughs> it's definitely different. Um, I just hope that uh, all of you uh, that are out there, uh, there who enjoy uh, uh, horror films uh, get a chance to see this film. Um, I didn't really have a uh, problem of, uh, 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 with the f uh, film in general. I mean, I, uh, I thought that some of the nature uh, shots were uh, pretty decent. Uh, some of the places that the jogger uh, and the hitchhiker were uh, hitchhiking and jogging down uh, <laughs> were uh, pretty beautiful. Uh, was at least a sunset or two that looked kind of spectacular. Although, um, not sure. If, uh, I, it was a good contrast uh, with the story that it was going for. Um, so, um, Someone in an earlier uh, review said something to the effect that uh, it had some pumpkin head vibes or what whatnot, and uh, I I can see that, um, but um, I thought it was entertaining, and uh, I just hope that uh, it gets more viewing uh, for those who enjoy these types of films. So. Thank you for listening. Uh, have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. I, I guess if I had a favorite scene uh, in this film, I guess I would have to go with the hippie scene, where they uh, they were actually um, explaining the uh, uh, the, uh, the legend. And, uh, and I know that... Um, I know that uh, the woman who was playing the dispatcher, uh, 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 Noel Johnson. Um, uh, uh, she's played by Vita Gaffrey. Um, and uh, from what I understand, she's kind of a rising star. I remember seeing her as uh, Nikita in The Eternal Code, um, which uh, if you haven't checked out my review on The Eternal Code, definitely go see that. Um, and she seems to be in a lot of films that I really want to see. Uh, uh, coming up here, Realm of Shadows, All of the Screaming of the Dead, Ed and the Living De uh, uh, Dead, Copperhead Creek. Uh, so, um, and uh, a couple of the mo Meat Hook Massacres, uh, apparently. I know I eventually want to check out Robo Woman um, and uh, s uh, some of the others that... Uh, uh, Dustin Ferguson has uh, been involved with. Uh, but uh, in any case, I mean, definitely check the film out. Um, I I just hope you enjoy uh, the, the film. So thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. Thank you for watching, and... Uh, let me know what your thoughts were of this film down in the comments below. So, thank you, and enjoy. You were good, kid, real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?